Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Anna Jonesboro High School. It's game one for the Mules in the Class 2A Anna Jonesboro Regional. Tonight, the Mules will take on West Frankfurt. West Frankfurt comes in. They are 14, 15, and 1. The Mules 30 and 5 and winners of their last 16. Mules Volleyball is brought to you by Carterby Square, FNB Fairfield National Bank, Wayne County Farm Bureau, Carter Trucking, Hashtag No Tan Lines, RJ Marketing, Wabash General Hospital, People's National Bank, the Conard Financial Group, Potts Family Pharmacy, the Fairfield Save-A-Lot, the Fairfield Banking Company, Christina Copeland Country Financial, Wax Flowers and Gifts, and Rush Appliance and Furniture. We'll get to the pregame. That is coming up in just a minute. You are listening to Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Carnaby Square, your fashion leader at 115 East Main in downtown Fairfield, wishes the Mules good luck this year. See Christy and all the Carnaby girls for the personal attention you deserve. Serving the area for more than 42 years, Carnaby Square has famous name brand clothing, corky shoes and Brighton jewelry, watches, handbags and sunglasses. Plus they've got men's belts and wallets. Open 9 to 5 Monday through Saturday until 7 on Thursday. Like them on Facebook and check out their live videos every Thursday at 530. FNB would like to take a moment to say thank you to all our area farmers. You truly are the heart of the heartland. Whether it's for this season's crop or the next crop of seasoned farmers, FNB is proud to support you by offering agribusiness services, products, and solutions designed to help you grow. FNB, banking, business, life, member FDIC, equal housing lender. This evening's broadcast is sponsored by the Wayne County Farm Bureau. Members of the Wayne County Farm Bureau earn a return on their membership dues. Members are eligible for a $500 special offer on Ford trucks, discounts at popular hotels and on car rentals, discounts on John Deere, Case IH, and CAT equipment, as well as discounts at theme parks, restaurants, movie theaters, and a whole lot more. Associate memberships are only $20 per year. Become a member of the Wayne County Farm Bureau today. Go to waynecfb.com slash membership and learn how. The Wayne County Farm Bureau, a membership that means something. Need a place to hold indoor practices, athletic training, or a birthday party? Give Carter Trucking a call at 618-842-2022 and ask about availabilities at the Carter Sports Academy. Need a place to hold indoor practices, athletic training, or a birthday party? Give Carter Trucking a call at 618-842-2022 and ask about availabilities at the Carter Sports Academy on Williamson Drive in Fairfield. Need any type of excavating work done? Carter Trucking can help you out. You can also get your rock, dirt, sand, or gravel at Carter Trucking. Plus, ask about bulk mulch, decorative landscaping rock, and asphalt patch. Jeremy and Nikki and the crew at Carter Trucking in Fairfield say go mules. We are at Anna Jonesboro High School. First round for the Mules in the Class 2A Regional here at Anna Jonesboro. They'll take on the West Frankfurt Redbirds. The Redbirds, a two sets to none winner over Vienna last night. Mules come in. They are 30 and 5 on the year. They won 16 in a row to close out the season and won the Fairfield Invitational for the first time over the weekend. Emerson Robbins have, averages 6.7 kills per set. She has a 47.6 kill percentage. Kate Book, Kenzie Turner, they're right around 40% kill percentage. West Frankfurt, they come in, they are 14-17-1, and, and they beat Vienna 2-0 last night to advance here to the first round of the sectional. This would be the semifinals. The winner tonight will take on the winner of the Massac County Johnston City semifinal. That one comes up right after this one here at Anna Jonesboro High School. I'm Mark Turner, Bob Ellis, and Grady Simpson alongside tonight. And guys, this should be an awful good volleyball matchup tonight. Yes, it should. You get into regional play and everybody starts 0-0. Well, West Frankfurt is 1-0 and they are going to be led tonight by Maddie Tate, Jada Burns, Reese James, Anna Rawa. Those are some of the names that you'll be hearing from 
the West Frankfurt Redbirds, and of course for the Mules, you know the names, Riley Edwards, Kate Book, Emerson Robbins, Lucy Britt, and Mabry Ellis will be in the starting lineup tonight. She's in there for her service over the last few games of the regular season and in the Fairfield Invitational Tournament over the weekend. Do want to remind you we've got hopefully volleyball action coming up on Thursday night. As uh, we hope the Mules will get the win here. They're seated number two in the super set in the uh, subsectional rather. I started to say super sectional. They will advance from here if they continue winning. They'll advance to the Pinckneyville sectional next Monday night and Wednesday night, and then Friday night of next week. They'll be at the Fairfield Super Sectional should they continue winning. And the Mules are on a roll right now, and they are led, as we mentioned earlier, by Emerson Robbins. She has been the hammer, so to speak, throughout the year. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Awaiting the starting lineups and the national anthem. We'll get to that in just a bit, just a couple of minutes. We'll take one more time out. You are listening to Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Hashtag No Tan Lines wants to wish the Lady Mules a safe and successful volleyball season. Hashtag No Tan Lines at 106 West Main in Fairfield has 14 tanning beds for your convenience. That includes levels 1 through 4 and stand-up beds. They've got accessories, lotions, and more. Plus check out their line of boutique clothing in all sizes, including plus sizes. Hashtag No Tan Lines at 106 West Main in Fairfield. Call 618-842-6336 to get your tan on. Raylan James Marketing, marketing done your way. No matter how small your business is, we're here to help with everything from social media management to search engine optimization. Needing a website or business cards? A flyer for your upcoming event? We do that too. Hometown people helping out our hometown businesses. Contact us today. Wabash General Hospital is now accepting new patients of all ages at the Albion Medical Clinic. Call 618-445-8170 to schedule your appointment for any number of services, including primary care, orthopedic and sports medicine, lab draw, and diagnostic imaging. Wabash General Hospital. People you know helping people you love. Welcome back to Anna Jonesboro High School. I'm Mark Turner, Grady Simpson, Bob Ellis alongside tonight for regional semifinal action between the Mules and the West Frankfurt Redbirds. West Frankfurt is finishing up its warm-ups. Then we'll get to the starting lineup, the national anthem, and the first serve of this one. Mules, should they win tonight, they are going to take on the winner of the second match tonight between Massac County and Johnston City. There is the buzzer, and we'll get set for the national anthem and the starter for tonight's game. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Jada Burns. At 
center back. Number 10, a senior, Layla Kazadi. Sharing the duties at left back. Number 3, a freshman, Reese James. And number 25, a junior, Carly Hopper. At left front, number 12, a sophomore, Bailey Nibbs. At center front, a freshman, number 14, Jenna Eason. At right front, Number 13, a senior, Anna Rava. And uh, Libero, a junior, number two, Maddie Tate. The Redbirds are coached by Haley Kendra and assistant coach, Kira Wilson. And that was the reserves for the home team on the school board, the Fairfield Bay Mules. Number three, Chelsea Tuck. Number seven, Corey Sutton. Number eight, Tracy Atwood. Number 14, Ava Beth. Number 15, Catherine Newman. Number 20, Alexis Klein. Number 22, Lainey Clark. And number 21, Lily Casey. And now the Lady Newell starters at right back. A freshman, number 17, Kenzie Turner. At center back, number two, a junior, Mabry Ellis. At left back, a senior, number 11, Kate Bush. At left front, number nine, a junior, Emerson Robbins. At center front, a junior, number 10, Ryan Edwards. At right front, number 25, senior, Taylor. Parker. And that's a barrow, a senior, number 29, Lacey Brick. The Lady Mules are coached by Chet Snyder and assistant coaches Yvette Combs and Nick Bassman. Officials for the season of the game are Rob Reeder and Alan Pierce, and line judges Federico Fernandez and Dennis Abercrombie. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we now ask that you please stand. Gentlemen, remove your hats as we honor America the playing of a national anthem. Live chat is open tonight, and Bob, already some movement on the live channel. Oh, yeah, live definitely. Live chat tonight. Okay, Angela Vaughn, let's go Mules. Thank you, Mule Nation, for the broadcast. I would hate to miss it. It's definitely would be a game you would not want to miss. We've also got our own Derek Dunn here. Eating tacos and watching Lady Mules Volleyball. Nice gym at Anna Jonesboro High School. It is a pretty nice gym here, and we wish you were here, Derek, but we are glad you were able to watch at home. We also have Kathy Feely. Go Lady Mules, cheering you on from Portland, Oregon. So, yeah. yeah. If you're watching the game, be sure to comment in the live chat. Tell us where you're watching from. You betcha. Hopefully we'll have a match for you Thursday night because from here on out, it is one and done. If mm -hmm. you lose, you are done, and I sure would hate the Mules to waste such a great season. Oh, 16 know, yeah. straight wins for this team. Incredible. It is incredible. 
This team is playing as well as I've seen them over the last four or five years. Oh, yeah. I've never enjoyed watching volleyball games so much. I mean, every game is just so exciting to yeah. watch. They just do so good. Mules come in. They are 30-5 and five on the year. West Frankfurt, 14-15-1. and one. Yeah, they had a tie. Mm. It was in a conference championship game with themselves and Heron. They ended that one, split one game of Pete's. Wow. Already got 73 people watching the stream. The game has not even started yet, so already great numbers. Officials are doing some work on yeah. the net. <laughs> Getting some stuff fixed, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Already got two more comments. Got Brian Turner saying, I'm just here to see Jake Afield. All field? I don't know if I pronounced that right. Yeah, I'm that is all field. All field, I'm sorry. Realized it as soon as I said it. And then we got Wanda Britt. Watching again from Indianapolis, go Lady Mules. All right, Wanda, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Angela, Brian Wees, we appreciate you. to All the folks watching tonight, we certainly appreciate it, and we've, we're glad you've joined us. All right, we are just about set for first set action here at Anna Jonesboro. We'll run down the starters for you for the Mules. Robbins, Edwards, Book, Britt is the libero. Atwood and Mabry Ellis, and we are just about set for action here. Mules are 30 and 5 overall, and they'll face West Frankfurt, who is 14, 15, and 1. Their starters once again going to be Reese James, Jada Burns, Maddie Tate is the libero, Leila Kazadi, Anna Roa, Jenna Deason, Carly Hofford, and Bailey Nibich. Have another comment here already. Julie Shreve saying, let's go, ladies. All right. Looks like the Mules are going to have the serve to start the game, and it's going to be Lucy Britt. The Mules libero on the service here to start this set. Justice Dagg saying, Spider-Man is watching with pride. <laughs> <laughs> All Fairfield's right, be Britt starting off here. Steps in. Britt with the serve. And we are just about set for action in this regional semifinal here at Anna Jonesboro. There's the whistle. And Britt, first serve on the way. Anna Jones, or rather West Frankfurt, hits it up quickly. Down to Britt. They'll get it for Edwards. Over to Kate Book and Book. Takes her down for the first point of the game for the Lady Mules. That's how you start a regional game right there. That is exactly how you start a regional game. Mules have done very well serving over the last few games, and they've put together runs of six, seven, eight, nine, and there's a server ace by Lucy Britt. It's 2 nothing, Lady Mules. Winner. It's the winner of the next match, Bassac County and Johnston City on Thursday night, right back here at 6 o'clock. Britt with the serve into the backcourt. Now over to West Frankfurt. They'll try and spike it. It's dug out by the Mules. Hits the pop. Now the Mules take it over. Robbins back to West Frankfurt. They'll bring it down. Now to Britt. She'll take save. it over. Nice little tip shot by Britt. Mules shed it up once again. They'll take it right over. And Mules get into the net. That looked like that was Riley Edwards who got a little too close to the net. And West Frankfurt gets its first point of the night. And Arala to serve for Johnston City here. Redbirds trail the Mules 2-1. Mules going to set it up. Edwards back set over to Robbins. Robbins takes it down. Book got a tip. They'll get it back for Robbins. Robbins takes it down. Now set it up once again. Tip shot. Dug out by Britt. Robbins take, take it over. Now they'll get it over. Now to Robbins. Kill on the way. Oh. Kill attempt <laughs> is good. And it's a 3-1 Lady Mule lead here. For the Lady Mules, Gracie Atwood's going to check into the lineup. And serving this time for the Lady Mules is going to be Riley Edwards. She'll set up deep in the middle of the court. 
There's the jump serve by Edwards. And that's a service ace. That's two already in the ball game for the Lady Mules. Lucy Britt to put two together on the first serve of the game. Now, bring it over, and that one tipped at the net, and it's going to go down, and that's going to be a point for West Frankfurt. Decent on the serve. Britt gets it over for Edwards. Down to Robbins, and Robbins wow. just pounds it down. And that's another point for the Lady Mules. That was a heck of a hit right there. Good. Live to Lady Mules and Emerson Robbins. will head back to serve as usual. She'll set up on the far side of the gym, the far right corner, and that's where she'll serve from. 5-2 Lady Mules with the lead. West Frankfurt sending it deep. Now, Mules get it set up. Set over four. The Mules, they'll take it back. Little tip shot to the inside. It's dug out. Now there's the set on the backside. Riley Edwards tried to take it down. Up court quickly. There's the set toward the middle. Kate Book. Book. Just a little too, muster, too much mustard on that one. And that, that is close. a point for West Frankfurt. That was close. Britt taps it up. Now Robbins takes it down from the three-meter line. And that is going to be another kill for Emerson Robbins. Chelsea Cuff is going to check in. She will serve also. Checking in for the Lady Mules, looks like Kaylee Barger. Cuff serves it right in that dead zone. West Frankfurt now puts it back up. Mules will set it up to the far side. Taken down and spiked into the net by the Mules, Kaylee Barger. Mules going to keep the serve, Cuff. Goes right back. It's a 7-3 lead, Lady Mules. Cuff sends it deep. That one swung deep. They'll get it over for Barger. Barger tips it over, and that's a point for the Lady Mules. It is 8-3, Lady Mules. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. You are listening and watching Mules Volleyball on Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Do you have a check that needs deposited and don't have time to make a trip to the bank? No problem. With Mobile Deposit at People's National Bank, just snap a picture of the check with your smartphone, and with a couple of clicks, it's deposited into your account. Depositing a check with a PNB 2 go mobile banking app is just that easy. Just tap, snap, and deposit. Plus, it's free. Download the PNB 2 go mobile banking app today to get started. People's National Bank. We make banking easy. Member FDIC. Wireless or service fees may apply. West Frankfurt took a timeout. The Mules have opened up a five-point lead, 8-3 in set one here in the Anna Jonesboro Regional Semifinal game. Got a couple more comments here on the stream. We got Dax Peach saying, Go Mules! Marley and Dax cheering from Mount Carmel. Thanks for the broadcast. We also have Jay Mooring watching from my couch with Spider-Man. And Israel Sargent watching from the couch next to Jay with <laughs> Spider-Man. Wow. <laughs> well, Spider-Man and... Jay and Izzy, thanks for joining us. Chelsea Cuff back to attempt another serve. She's gotten two straight. We'll see if she can come up with a third here. Brings it down. Now West Frankfurt takes it out. Blocked at the front of the net and blocked straight down by Kaylee Barger. And that will give the point. Looks like Lucy Britt has checked in for the Mules. For West Frankfurt, Carly Hoffert to serve. 
Hoffert brings it down. Mule's going to set it up. Nice set right on the inside. And the point goes to Kenzie Turner. Turner, third on the team in kills. Mules get that service back. It is 9-4 now. Ellis serves it deep. West Frankfurt sets it up. It's blocked in the middle. It is blocked. Kinsey Turner scored a point just a moment ago. Now scores another one with a key block there. And the Mules are in double figures point-wise. And it makes it 10-4. Deep serve by Ellis. Now, free ball for the Mules. Mabry, or rather, Turner. Barger, rather, took it down. That one tipped around and could not be saved by the Lady Mules. That's a point for West Frankfurt. Matty Tate, the libero, will serve for West Frankfurt here. Mule's going to set it up. They'll take it over for Robbins. Robbins down with the kill attempt. It's dug out by West Frankfurt. Now they'll get it over Edwards to Robbins. Make it Barger, and Barger takes it down for the kill. Bailey Barger has had a pretty good game thus far. Mules looking for their 17th win in a row. Barger back to serve for the Lady Mules who have opened up an 11-5 lead here at Anna Jonesboro. Barger, jump serve, way deep. West Frankfurt takes it over. That is way deep. Britt saves it over to Edwards. Now to Robbins. Robbins tips it across. West Frankfurt with the spike down. It's blocked by the Mules. They'll tip it right back. In the middle. There's four Robbins. Robbins the kill attempt. That one way high in it. Comes right back over the net. They'll set up Robbins once again. Robbins with the kill attempt, and that is taken straight wow. down for the kill. Robbins, by my count, has four kills already in this set, and it is 11-5 Mules. Actually, Robbins hit that one a bit outside. I thought that was in, but going to be... 11-6 now. Set it outside for Robbins. Robbins this time adjust, and the kill attempt is good. 12-6 now, Mules. I didn't see it. I didn't. I'm not sure what happened there. It was a lane violation. Well, not a lane violation, but a line violation. Now Robbins from the three-meter line. Hits the net, bounces right over. West Frankfurt has it. They'll take it up top. Britt over to Edwards. Now to Robbins. Robbins tips it over, and that's a point for the Mules. 12-7 Mules. Lucy Britt back to serve for the Mules. Kate Book is checked back in for the Mules. Britt serves it deep. West Frankfurt having problems. It's blocked at the net. And that is going to be a block by Kate Book. And they're doing good with those blocks and kills there. 13-7 now. Lady Mules, yeah. Britt takes it deep. That is got it back over. Save. Edwards goes up. Now they'll get it for Britt. Britt just takes it right over. West Frankfurt digs it out. Now they'll set it up toward the middle. It's blocked and... It is not blocked. It went past the hands of Kate Book on the inside and sails out of bounds. That's another point for the Lady Mules. They've doubled up the Redbirds. Britt, another service ace. And it's 15-7 Lady Mules. Britt. With another serve. There's another service ace. Two in a row by Lucy Britt. And it's 16-7, Lady Mules.
Britt in the middle, and that is going to be brought up. <laughs> Robinson. Robbins, rather. Just kills that, that same one. spot every time, I know. too. She just keeps Man. getting them. Wow. Took it right down, and there's another timeout. We'll take uh -huh. one as well. You're watching Mules Volleyball on Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Conard Financial Group can help you build a diverse portfolio to keep you on track with your financial goals. Conard Financial Group can help you with retirement planning from 401ks to IRAs, 401k rollovers, college saving plans, life and long-term care insurance, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and certificates of deposits. Over 46 years of combined experience in the financial industry. They'll help you plan and invest for your future, whatever your goals may be. Give them a call or stop by Conard Financial Group, LLC, investing in the community since 2003. At Potts Family Pharmacy in Fairfield, Stephen and Tiffany say you're not just a customer, but a part of their family. Open 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday, right next to Save-A-Lot in Fairfield. They feature a full line of over-the-counter products like high-potency orthomolecular vitamins. Plus, Stephen says those specially compounded pain creams are back at Potts Family Pharmacy in Fairfield, right next to Save-A-Lot. And we are back. Have another two comments. We got Ruthann Ramsey saying, Mom's watching from Florence, Kentucky. And we got Kathy Feely saying, What time will the game be on Thursday? It will be at 6 o'clock. Should the Mules win this one? They dig that one out. Robbins going to take it over. From the middle, and that's out. Way long and out by West Frankfurt. That makes it 18-7 Mules. Glad you've joined us, and thanks for chatting on the live chat, letting us know where you're watching from tonight. Britt looking for her fourth point in a row. Mule's going to set it up. Robbins, or rather Edwards, tips it right over. Now West Frankfurt gets it over for Edwards. There's two. Robbins. Robbins takes it down. A little backspin on there, and it's 19-7 Lady Mule. Lady Mules have come out on fire here in set one. Lucy Britt, another serve to the far side. Blocked by the Lady Mules. It's going to go out of bounds. Riley Edwards got the block and blocked it out of bounds. Edwards. And Arala back to serve for West Frankfurt. Rala takes it up over to Edwards. They'll look for Robbins. Robbins tips it over. Now West Frankfurt gets it right back in the middle. Now to Edwards. Edwards down to Robbins. That one dug out by West Frankfurt in the middle. Another block. Robbins and Kate Book on the block for the Mules. You heard that, Gracie Atwood into the lineup for the Lady Mules. Riley Edwards with the serve. Edwards takes it deep. Now, Wes Frankfurt over to Britt. They'll get it back in the middle to Robbins. That one just tipped over slightly by Robbins, and the point is good. It is 21 for the Lady Mules. Stick around after the match. We'll be talking with Coach Chet Snyder. Win or, you, win or lose, we hope it's a win for the Lady Mules. Wes Frankfurt. Out again. Hits that one out once again, and that makes it 22-8. Lady Mules, they are closing in on a set one victory here at Anna Jonesboro. Catherine Newman checking in for the Lady Mules. Edwards with the jump serve. Takes it across. West Frankfurt. Miss hit. And another point for the Lady Mules. 23-8. Edwards once again takes it up. Now, Edwards County. Or rather, 
West Frankfort tipping it over. And they break the serve by Riley Edwards. Jenna Decent serves from right in the middle of the court. Long serve. Edwards back for Robbins. Robbins spike is dug out. West Frankfurt. Now they'll tip it up. Got it over for Kate Book. That's point. And Book makes it match or a set point rather for the Lady Mules. Robbins will serve, and it is set point for the Lady Mules. Long serve. It's dug out by West Frankfurt. They'll set it to the far side, and that is out, and that is set number one. The Lady Mules win 25-9. You're watching Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. The Fairfield Sickle, your locally owned hometown grocery store, 709 West Main, wishes the meals a great season, open 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Sunday. Save a lot offers fresh fruit and produce and fresh cut meats, all at everyday low prices. Check out their Facebook pages for weekly specials. We're all familiar with the three watts, what it is, what can it do for me, and what does it cost? At Country Financial, we can help you with the answers with insurance coverage to help protect what's most important to you, all at a price you can afford. So while you're juggling work and kids, while you're trying to keep an eye on your future, we'll make sure we're one of the first ones there when you need us most. What should you do next? Call Country Financial Representative Christina Copeland at 618-842-2185 to chat about your insurance needs. The Fairfield Banking Company, your true locally owned hometown bank, says go mules. See them for checking and savings accounts and loans of all types. Lobby hours are 8.30 to 4 Monday through Friday and 8 to noon on Saturdays. And the convenient drive through they're open 8 to 5 Monday through Thursday, 8 to 6 on Friday and 8 to noon on Saturday. The Fairfield Banking Company, 915 Commerce Drive in Fairfield, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Looking for something special for that special someone? Let Black's Flowers and Gifts in downtown Fairfield help with a custom floral or silk arrangement, balloon or candy bouquet, or gift item. Give Black's a call at 618-847-7076 for pickup or delivery, or just stop by and say hi at 310 East Main in Fairfield. Black's Flowers and Gifts, your florist with a personal touch. Looking for something comfy to watch the big game on? Rush Appliance and Furniture in Fairfield has got you covered with a huge selection of Lazy Boy recliners, love seats, and sofas. There's also mattresses, bed frames, bedroom suites, dining sets, appliances, and more. Plus, you'll get world-class service at Rush Appliance and Furniture. 118 West Main in Fairfield. Call 618-842-4096. And we are back on air, and Mule Nation Volleyball is sponsored by Carnaby Square, FMB, Wayne County Farm Bureau, Carter Trucking, Hashtag No Tan Lines, RJ Marketing, Wabash General Hospital, People's National Bank, The Conard Financial Group, Potts Family, Family Pharmacy, The Fairfield Save-A-Lot, Fairfield Banking Company, Christina Copeland Country Financial, Black's Flowers and Gifts, and Rush Appliance and Furniture. Once again, thank you to all of those companies for sponsoring us. And also, we have a very active live chat here tonight. We got Samantha Vaughn watching from Tennessee. We got Julie Shreve saying, book it. We also have Derek Dunn saying, book it, says Kate. And, and, and by the way, out of respect for Derek Dunn, I don't want to. Uh, that's why I'm not using the term book it. I don't want to step on his toes. That's his thing. Because that is that is his thing, man. I'll say it for him when he says it in the live chat. Right, I perfect. can represent Derek tonight. Okay. 
<laughs> and we have Brian Turner saying, Robbins with nine kills that set. I was wondering how many kills she had. I knew it had to be a good amount. I mean, she was going crazy that set. West Frankfurt is going to have the serve to start this second half. The Mules win that first set 25-9. They will advance to the regional championship game with a set to victory. That game set for 6 p.m. Their opponent will be determined by the next match. It's going to be Massac County or Johnston City. West Frankfurt set for the serve now. Goes back. They'll get it for Edwards. Edwards over to Robbins. Takes it right down. It's dug out by West Frankfurt from the three-meter line. West Frankfurt sends it out. They'll get it to Edwards. Edwards, little swing shot across. Now, West Frankfurt having problems, and the Mules get the first point of the second set. And Lucy Britt will go back to serve. Britt will add some great serves in that first set. Britt with a deep serve, and that is a service ace. The Mules picking up right where they left off, maybe gaining some momentum here. Oh, yeah. We got Mary Faye in the chest saying, great first set. Do it again. Go, Lady Mules. You betcha. And it looks like already they are doing it again here. <laughs> Two points up, and the set has just started. From the three-meter line. <laughs> West Frankfurt drops one right in the middle of the Mule defense, and they're on the board. Also got Derek Dunn in the chest saying, Lady Mules playing very well, active on both offense and defense, and controlling the net. That I agree with, Derek. Long serve. It's going to be picked up over to Edwards. Now to Robbins. Robbins takes it down. It's blocked at the net. West Frankfurt digs it out. They'll take it across from the three-meter line. Now to Edwards. Edwards over to Robbins. Robbins takes it down. It's dug out. Back to West Frankfurt. They're going to block at the net by the Mules. West Frankfurt takes it up. Mules dig it out. Edwards gets it to Britt, and Britt will take it over. Good save. Now down. And that one spiked down by West Frankfurt. And West Frankfurt is going to get the service back. We're tied at two here in set two. Got Kathy Feely saying, keep it up, Mules. Travis Mitchell saying, let's go, Riley. And we got Jeff Wise once again watching from the hood, Southeast 3rd Street, representing Go Mules. All right. Edwards. In the middle, it's blocked by the Mules. Britt dug it out. Edwards will tip it over, and another point by the Lady Mules. They're up 3-2. Gracie Atwood going to check in for the Lady Mules. Riley Edwards and the Mules leading 3-2 here in set two. She will serve. Edwards takes it down, and there's another service ace. That's two already here in set two. Edwards now set. Here's the serve. West Frankfurt digs it out. They'll take it up. Spike way deep, but the Mules save it. Edwards down to Robbins, and Robbins lows it down. It went out of bounds, though. And it's going to go over to West Frankfurt. 4-3 down. Bailey Nips to serve for West Frankfurt. Robbins will take it over, make it Barger. Now back over to West Frankfurt. They'll spike it, and they'll spike it long. They send it to the outside corner, and nine times out of ten in this match, the... Redbirds have swung it way out of bounds. Here's another comment here from earlier that I'm pretty sure I missed. We got Connie West saying, watching from Tuscola, go Lady Mules. Thank you for broadcasting the game. Lucy Britt digs it out. They'll get it over. Mules take it across. Now deep. Over to Edwards. Edwards. Takes it down and into the rafters, and it oh, finally comes wow. out, and West Frankfurt <laughs> saves it. Incredible. Over to Edwards once again. The little tip shot just about now brought down by West Frankfurt, and there's going to be some discussion, and they're actually going to replay.
Robbins throws it deep over to the far side. Brought up now down and into the net. Still 5-4 Mules. Carly Hofford set to serve for West Frankfurt. Hofford serves it deep. Mules take it up. Barger brings it over. Now Edwards County, or rather West Frankfurt from the far side. Gets it over in the middle. Book. Now down. There's the tip. Mules save it out. Robbins from the three-meter line, and that's a point for the Mules. 6-4, Lady Mules. A lot, of serve, a lot of errors by West Frankfurt in this one. Yeah, Virginia Reynolds saying, go Lady Mules, or book it. Lexi Klein has checked in for the Lady Mules. And she'll go back to serve here. Make it Chelsea Cuff with the serve. West Frankfurt tips it deep, and that's another point for the Lady Mules. Okay, Britt back into the lineup. That is going to be a point for West Frankfurt. I should watch the officials instead of making my own judgment here. Mules. Bring it across. Now West Frankfurt brings it up. They'll spike it down. It's tipped by the Lady Mules. Over to Robbins. Robbins a little bit of a miss hit, and that is going to be a point by West Frankfurt. Ties the ball game at 6-6. The Libero Tate back to serve for West Frankfurt. Mules. Edwards over on the far side, and that's a point by Kaylee Barger. Mabry Ellis checking into the Mule lineup. She will serve. Long serve by Ellis. West Frankfurt saves it. Now they'll tip it over. Britt, there's a little tip shot by Edwards. Blocked out there, a block in the middle by Lexi Klein. Long serve by Edwards and nobody from West Frankfurt even re reacted to that one. They just watch it go in. And that's another point for the Lady Mules. It's now 9-6. West Frankfurt had tied it up. And Mules have scored three straight here. West Frankfurt now sets it up to the near side. And that is going to be spiked down, and that's a point for West Frankfurt. 9-7 now. Edwards takes it across the line. Now the Mules spike it down. And it's saved out of there by West Frankfurt. Tip across the middle. That's it. Brought down by Kaylee Barger. And the Mules get the serve back. In for the Mules going to be Laney Clark. Clark will go back to serve. Clark, deep serve. It's dug out by West Frankfurt. They'll take it down. Long spike attempt. And that is going to be a point for West Frankfurt. Eight serving ten. 
And Arala back to serve for West Frankfurt. Regional action here at Anna Jonesboro High School. Mule set it up to the far side. Little tip shot across by the Mules. Pulled out of there, and that is going to be a net violation by the Mules. And that makes it 10-9. Anna Jonesboro hanging around this match. Over to Robbins. Robbins takes it down. Dug out by West Frankfurt. West Frankfurt spikes it down. And we are tied at 10. A little closer set this time. Rolla sends it deep. Edwards over for Robbins. Robbins spikes it down. It's dug out by West Frankfurt. That one at the net is blocked by the Mules. Looked like Lexi Klein got it. And Lucy Britt back to serve for the Lady Mules. Long spike by West Frankfurt. And that is going to be a point for the Lady Mules. 11-10. Oh, no. Wait, no. I think they said she tipped it. Still 11-11. Britt. Edwards, a little left-handed tip shot that's across, out. and that's a point for the Lady Mules. There we go. Back on top. 12-11. Gracie Atwood will check in for the Lady Mules. Back deep to serve is Riley Edwards. Edwards, the jump serve. Over to the right side, and that's struck down by Wes Frankfurt, and we're tied at 12. Said it's just back and forth so far. So West Frankfurt with the serve here, looking to take the lead. They've been close a couple of times, but haven't, do it, haven't been able to do it in the second set. Britt over to Edwards. They'll punch it up the middle for in. Kate Book. Dare I, dare I say it? Book it, Kate. <laughs> Feels wrong not to say it. Well, it does. It does. Emerson Robbins back to serve for the Lady Mills. They're back up 13-12. Robbins, a deep serve. West Frankfurt sets it up once again. It's tipped across. Over for Edwards. Edwards. Down across. Mules. Dig it out. Edwards. Look to Robbins in the middle. Robbins with the kill from the three-meter line. It's 14-12. Mules. Robbins, another deep serve. This time, Robbins digs it out for the Mules. Britt, now they the Mules it. take it over. Tate, over to the far side. And that is swung out of bounds. And that is going to be a point for the Lady Mules there. And now up by three, 15-12. Robbins from the far corner once again. Will serve it deep. West Frankfurt takes it across. Robbins to Edwards in the middle for Book. And Book just takes it down. They're going to call a violation on Kate Book, I believe. Yeah, they're going to say Kate kind of pushed that ball and not hit it. So that breaks the serve by the Mules and gives it back to West Frankfurt. It's now 15-13. Long serve. Over for Barger. Barger takes it across the net. And that one hits the net for West Frankfurt and the Mules. Back to get that serve. Chelsea Cuff in to serve. Lexi Klein in for the Lady Mules as well.
across the middle. It's going to be Klein, Clark, and Robbins. Across the front. West Frankfurt tips it across. It's going to go to West Frankfurt. And West Frankfurt still in the game, trailing by two, 16-14. Maddie take the libero back to serve for West Frankfurt. Edwards over to Klein. Klein takes it down. It's dug out by West Frankfurt. Now Tate takes it over to Edwards. Tips it across for the Lady Mules. Edwards now setting once again over to Robbins from the three-meter line. Lady Mules take it down. Well, no, West Frankfurt took it down and took it out of bounds. We've got a timeout. You're watching Mule Nation, powered by RG Marketing. Looking for something special for that special someone? Let Black's Flowers and Gifts in downtown Fairfield help with a custom floral or silk arrangement, balloon or candy bouquet, or gift item. Give Black's a call at 618-847-7076 for pickup or delivery, or just stop by and say hi at 310 East Main in Fairfield. Black's Flowers and Gifts, your florist with a personal touch. Looking for something comfy to watch the big game on? Rush Appliance and Furniture in Fairfield has got you covered with a huge selection of Lazy Boy recliners, love seats, and sofas. There's also mattresses, bed frames, bedroom suites, dining sets, appliances, and more. Plus, you'll get world-class service at Rush Appliance and Furniture. 118 West Main in Fairfield. Call 618-842-4096. Mabry Ellis has checked into the lineup for the Lady Mules. She will serve here with the Mules leading 17-14 in set two. Ellis is ready. There is the whistle. Ellis serves into the net. That may be the first service error that we've seen this evening from the Lady Mules. Leilani Kazada will serve now for West Frankfurt. Takes it across. Mules get it up. Outside set. And that is going to be powered down. And that is a point by the Lady Mules, Riley Edwards. And it's 18-15 now. For the Lady Mules. Back to serve is Chelsea Cuff. And that is going to be a service error by the, or serve ace by the Lady Mules. It's Kaylee Barger, my mistake. I have a comment from Derek saying, a message from Moss Snyder. Let's go Lady Mules. Moss Snyder and the Feely Kids, Madden and Layla. We love our Lady Mules. Block and at the block. by the Lady Mules, and that's another point by the Lady Mules. It's now 20 to 15. And we've got another timeout. You're watching Neil Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. We're all familiar with the three watts, what it is, what can it do for me, and what does it cost? At Country Financial, we can help you with the answers with insurance coverage to help protect what's most important to you, all at a price you can afford. So while you're juggling work and kids, while you're trying to keep an eye on your future, we'll make sure we're one of the first ones there when you need us most. What should you do next? Call Country Financial Representative Christina Copeland at 618-842-2185 to chat about your insurance needs. The Fairfield Banking Company, your true locally owned hometown bank, says go mules. See them for checking and savings accounts and loans of all types. Lobby hours are 8.30 to 4 Monday through Friday and 8 to noon on Saturdays. And the convenient drive through they're open 8 to 5 Monday through Thursday, 8 to 6 on Friday and 8 to noon on Saturday. The Fairfield Banking Company, 915 Commerce Drive in Fairfield, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Back to action here at Anna Jonesboro. The Mules served, and West Frankfurt broke that serve. It is now 20 to 16. 
Got Kim R in the chest saying, watching from the hood, Southeast 4th Street. Go Riley and book it, two very special young ladies. Over for Robbins. Robbins takes it down. It's dug out by West Frankfurt. They'll bring it over the net from the three-meter line. Free ball. Edwards looks for Robbins. Robbins oh, takes wow. it right down. And that's another point for the Lady Mules. 21-16 now. Mules closing in on a two-set victory over West Frankfurt here in the regional semifinals. Lucy Britt back to serve for the Lady Mules. Britt with the jump serve. We'll take it over. Now from the three-meter line, Britt over to Edwards, to Robbins. Robbins takes it down, and it's another one. 22-16, Lady Mules. Three points away from a two-set victory and a move into the regional championship game. Britt with the serve once again. And that is brought over. Over to Edwards. Edwards to Robbins. Robbins. Kill attempt to cross. It is batted up by West Frankfurt. Now they'll get it over. Rip. Over to Robbins. To Edwards. Edwards takes it over now. In the middle. Long, oh, long. And it was tipped at the net by the Lady Mules. And that allows West Frankfurt to get that service back. It is 22-17. And whenever we had that miss serve there earlier, um, Brian Turner says in the chat that correct that was the first miss serve. Lady Mules take it down, and that is a Double. point for the Lady Mules, 23-17. Two more to go. Got John Pearson saying, go Mules. Let's get that regional, and he's watching from Wood River. Edwards looking to close things out. Serves it into the net. Point West Frankfurt, 23-18 now. The Redbirds just kind of hanging around and hanging around. Out deep. Now they'll get it over. Back set over to the far side for Edwards. And Edwards took that one down, and it's 24-18. We're at match point. Emerson Robbins looking to close it out here. Get that last point for the game. Robbins, long serve. It's dug out by West Frankfurt. They'll go from the three-meter line. Long, and it's going to go back over to West Frankfurt. 24-19 now. Have 129 people watching right now. I like that. Oh, they at, blocked it. Oh, the they're net. keeping it going. Match point. That was a good save. That was a good save. West Frankfurt again oh. taking it down, and that right. is a point for West Frankfurt. That is a hard one to hit back whenever they hit it right in the corner like that. Winner moves on for a date with either Massac County or Johnston City in the regional championship game Thursday night at 6 p.m. Should the Mules be there, we'll be there. Nice. And that drops right in, and West Frankfurt still with some life. It's 24-20 now. Oh. Chet Snyder questioning the officials. Will they reverse it? I was going to say, that one they do. I thought it was. Say. And that will do it. The Mules advance to the regional championship game with a 25-20 win over West Frankfurt here in the regional semifinals. You're listening to Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. The Fairfield Sickle, your locally owned hometown grocery store, 709 West Main, wishes the meals a great season, open 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Sunday. Save a lot offers fresh fruit and produce and fresh cut meats all at everyday low prices. Check out their Facebook pages for weekly specials. 
At Potts Family Pharmacy in Fairfield, Stephen and Tiffany say you're not just a customer, but a part of their family. Open 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday right next to Save-A-Lot in Fairfield. They feature a full line of over-the-counter products like high-potency orthomolecular vitamins. Plus, Stephen says those specially compounded pain creams are back at Potts Family Pharmacy in Fairfield right next to Save-A-Lot. Conard Financial Group can help you build a diverse portfolio to keep you on track with your financial goals. Conard Financial Group can help you with retirement planning from 401ks to IRAs, 401k rollovers, college saving plans, life and long-term care insurance, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and certificates of deposits. Over 46 years of combined experience in the financial industry. They'll help you plan and invest for your future, whatever your goals may be. Give them a call or stop by Conard Financial Group, LLC, investing in the community since 2003. Do you have a check that needs deposited and don't have time to make a trip to the bank? No problem. With Mobile Deposit at People's National Bank, just snap a picture of the check with your smartphone, and with a couple of clicks, it's deposited into your account. Depositing a check with a PNB 2 go mobile banking app is just that easy. Just tap, snap, and deposit. Plus, it's free. Download the PNB 2 go mobile banking app today to get started. People's National Bank. We make banking easy. Member FDIC, wireless or service fees may apply. Wabash General Hospital is now accepting new patients of all ages at the Albion Medical Clinic. Call 618-445-8170 to schedule your appointment for any number of services, including primary care, orthopedic and sports medicine, lab draw, and diagnostic imaging. Wabash General Hospital. People you know, helping people you love. Raylan James Marketing, marketing done your way. No matter how small your business is, we're here to help with everything from social media management to search engine optimization. Need a website or business cards? A flyer for your upcoming event? We do that too. Hometown people helping out our hometown businesses. Contact us today at 618-315-3611 or email claire at raylanjames.com to see how we can help your business grow. Go Mules! Volumes on, you're ready. The guy from the Southern Illinois, but the Mules get a two-set victory. Over West Frankfurt here tonight at Anna Jonesboro in the regional semifinals. And they will move on to face either Massac County or Johnston City in the regional championship game. Thursday night at 6 o'clock. We'll be right back here with you on Mule Nation on Thursday night. Massac County and Johnston City warming up right behind me. I want to remind you about high school football coming up Saturday night at the IHSA 2A playoff action from North Mac High School in Verdon, Illinois. Now, the Mules are going to take on the Panthers on Thursday, on Saturday afternoon. It's going to be an audio-only broadcast as um, we are, are going to be able to do that. Chet, uh, Thank congratulations. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was good to get that first postseason win under our belt. Now you're 1-0, and you can continue that winning streak. I, I hope so. Um, we came out sharp, I thought, and um, focused. And um, second game, you know, you got seniors on the other side of the court that they're fighting for their lives, and they don't want it to end. And that's why postseason, it's so hard to advance in. So um, just regroup, have a good practice tomorrow. Um, everyone's pretty healthy, and try to come back and get a regional championship Thursday night. Massac County or Johnston City? I know you played Massac. I know you played Johnston City twice and Massac County at least three times. We played Massac twice. We haven't played Johnston City. Um, they're on the other side of the conference now, um, but we just played Massac in a tough game at our place. Um, they're really good. Zach does an outstanding job with um, their program, and um, whoever we play, Ashley's done a really good job with Johnston City. It'll be a battle. Chet, congratulations on the W, and we'll see you on Thursday. Thanks, Mule Nation. Hi, Mom. Hi, Kathy. Uh, hi, Mikhail. Hi, Wyatt. Got to say hi to everybody. Yeah. It's Tucker. She's... Thanks. Thank you, Chet. Appreciate it, man.
Tess Snyder and the Mules get the two-set victory over West Frankfort here this evening. They'll face either Johnston City or Massac County in the regional championship game on Thursday night at 6 p.m. here at Anna Jonesboro. You are watching Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Hashtag No Tan Lines wants to wish the Lady Mules a safe and successful volleyball season. Hashtag No Tan Lines at 106 West Main in Fairfield has 14 tanning beds for your convenience. That includes levels 1 through 4 and stand-up beds. They've got accessories, lotions, and more. Plus check out their line of boutique clothing in all sizes, including plus sizes. Hashtag No Tan Lines at 106 West Main in Fairfield. Call 618-842-6336 to get your tan on. This evening's broadcast is sponsored by the Wayne County Farm Bureau. Members of the Wayne County Farm Bureau earn a return on their membership dues. Members are eligible for a $500 special offer on Ford trucks, discounts at popular hotels and on car rentals, discounts on John Deere, Case IH, and CAT equipment, as well as discounts at theme parks, restaurants, movie theaters, and a whole lot more. Associate memberships are only $20 per year. Become a member of the Wayne County Farm Bureau today. Go to waynecfb.com slash membership and learn how. The Wayne County Farm Bureau, a membership that means something. FNB would like to take a moment to say thank you to all our area farmers. You truly are the heart of the heartland. Whether it's for this season's crop or the next crop of seasoned farmers, FNB is proud to support you by offering agribusiness services, products, and solutions designed to help you grow. FNB, banking, business, life, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Carnaby Square, your fashion leader at 115 East Main in downtown Fairfield, wishes the Mules good luck this year. See Christy and all the Carnaby girls for the personal attention you deserve. Serving the area for more than 42 years, Carnaby Square has famous name brand clothing, corky shoes and Brighton jewelry, watches, handbags and sunglasses. Plus they've got men's belts and wallets. Open 9 to 5 Monday through Saturday until 7 on Thursday. Like them on Facebook and check out their live videos every Thursday at 5.30. Wrapping things up on a Tuesday night of volleyball action here at Anna Jonesboro. The Lady Mules advance to the regional championship game against either Massac County or Johnston City with the 25-9, 25-20 win over West Frankfurt. What are, we were talking about high school football. want to remind you the Mules go to North Mac on Saturday at 2 p.m. for the first round of the two-way playoffs. We'll have it for you. It'll be audio only on Saturday. Do also want to remind you, Brian Carmen up at North Mac High School tells me that they will allow tailgating. So if Mule fans want to make the trip and tailgate, they open their lot at 12 noon. Again, the Mules win two sets to none in the regional semifinals and play Thursday night at 6 o'clock. For Bob Ellis, for Grady Simpson, I'm Mark Turner. Mules Volleyball is a production of Mule Nation, powered by R.J. Marshall.